This is the plaintiff, Curtis Austin. He says he and the defendant used to date, and when she caught him with another woman at his house, she freaked out and grabbed a knife from his kitchen. She got arrested, and he felt badly for her because she was pregnant with his child, so he posted her bail, and the defendant owes him $4,315.46, which she hasn't paid him, so he's suing her. This is the defendant, Solange. She says the plaintiff bailed her out of jail because he felt bad because she was pregnant with his child. She never agreed to pay him back, and the plaintiff bailed her out because he felt guilty. The only reason he's coming after her now for the bail money is because she's now seeking child support and he's mad. She's accused of refusing to pay an ex. The defendant has filed a countersuit for $4,340 for all she's owed. All parties, please use your right hand. Continue to come to order, please. Litigants have been sworn, Your Honor. Thank you. Mr. Austin, Solange is the mother of your child, correct? That's How correct. How old is that child? Um, six. Okay. Years ago, you and Solange had a little problem. What happened? Yes, years ago, um, well, I met the defendant in 09. Um, we started a relationship, but I have to be honest, I wasn't completely honest with her. I was involved with another relationship. And um, like women always find out, she found out about the relationship. Ah, uh, those darn women. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. So she found out about the relationship, but she decided to continue to keep seeing me, which she did um, up until the incident, what happened. So um, on the day of the incident, on the day she's of the incident. pregnant with this child we just referred to, correct? That's correct. Okay, and you were with another woman? Yes, I was. And what happens? When I hear noise, I come downstairs. When I come downstairs, I meet the defendant in my dining room. She, how did she get in? Well, she was at the house before. How did you get in? Um, the young lady came to the door, opened the door. Well, that's not what the police report says. The police report says you removed the screen and then you came in through a window. That's what uh, they said. She opened the door. And the screen was down. So anyway, you see her down there, and is the woman who you're with that night, is she, she in the room? No, she's upstairs at the time. Right, and then she comes down, and then so when once the, the defendant sees her, what happens? She, she gets upset, and then she tries to go after her. How? She like, starts lunging after her, so I try to detain her to keep from get, you know, getting to her, and then I told my friend to go back upstairs, let me see if I can you know, resolve this. But, and does um, your friend go back upstairs? She goes back upstairs. I'd be hightailing it right out of your <laughs> drama-ridden household. Um, so she goes back upstairs, and then what happens? So what happens then is... At uh, some point, your friend comes back down. She comes back down. She says and she's... And what does she grab? She grabbed, like, uh, I can't really remember. She grabbed a, a glass cup. Um, she was throwing spoons and knives and things and like that. And doing what? What did she do she with... She was throwing them at my friend before I told her to go upstairs. What happened with the glass jar that she had in her or the glass cup or the, whatever glass was in her hand? She might have she dropped it or she threw it in or she missed her. Okay. And then what happens? And then my friend says she's going to call the police. And then, and then the defendant says she's going to call the police. So what happens? The police come. So, you explain what happened. And when the police come, you have a steak knife in your hand. No. Okay, is a police a, co a complete liar? Because a police officer says he saw the steak knife in your hand. In the vicinity. No, was on in the your counter. hand, he says. What did you end up getting arrested for, sweetheart? Um, originally, home invasion. Yeah, a burglary with an intent to commit a crime inside. You have a steak knife in your hand, and the police officer, according to him, grabs his gun, unsnaps a lace set, and he says, put that down, and then you put that down. Does that sound familiar to anybody? Sounds yeah? Good. Who doesn't it sound familiar to who was there? Because there are only two of you who I'm talking to. The, the steak knife was not in my hand. Well, why do you think you were arrested for an armed home burglary? I was arrested for home invasion because he said that he armed, said all right? those things. You're, the first time, was the charge originally it was armed? armed no. Right. So you put this, according to the police officer, you put the steak knife down, and then he ends up arresting you, and you end up posting her bond. Correct? That's correct. All right, so tell me about that. So when I seen her getting arrested, getting hauled away in the handcuffs, I, I did feel bad because she was pregnant with my child. I know she was emotional. So I ended up posting the bond and um, she gets released. And of course, 
at the time, she was a school bus driver. She kind of lost everything. So she needed a place to stay. And uh, this is where the um, verbal agreement came with the barn. So I said, she can stay with me for a few months as long as you take care of the barn. Only thing I wanted at the time, I put 1300 down and I made $7,500 I mean, uh, $7, payments a week. If she would con continue that until it's complete, and then everything would be all set. And so you made this agreement when? December, uh, this, uh, January of? This was January of 2012? 2012. Okay. Why are you suing now more than six years later? Because um, the Bell Bonds Company, um, they took me to court back in um, December of 18, and I got noticed that they're going to garnish Wait, but what has she paid? If you say you struck that agreement with her, did she pay the first dollar? She didn't pay anything. Right. So she has been over six years in arrears in what you say is a legal obligation she agreed to assume. Right. So why would you take more than six years to file your lawsuit? Because at this time, I'm thinking, they came They came to me. Because all this time, the bail bondsmen are sending you notices, because you're the guy on the note. They sent, it, they sent it notices, but I didn't receive them. Why didn't you receive them? I received, the first one I received from them was 2013. And at this point, I'm thinking that she took care of it. Why would you think she took care of it? She, I know, she told me okay, she- Okay, so tell it. me, you tell me, what were you doing in that house? Um, that day, um... Why were the police called if that lady invited you in and you were just having a nice she chat didn't, and tea? She didn't invite me in. She opened the door because I was calling him. He was supposed to take me to the DMV. We, um, I broke up with him a couple of days before, like a week maybe, and then... And then you still expected him to take you to the DMV? But, no, I was texting back and forth because it was a DMV and then the doctor's visit because I was four months at the time. So then... The cops came. Yeah, there were stuff on the counter, and I. You, you know, it's it not a home invasion if somebody let you in, right? Exactly. What happened with the case? That's the thing. They took everything they said because I was the one. What at happened his with house. the case, though? It got thrown out. What does that mean? We went to court, and the judge brought it down to misdemeanor. I didn't plead guilty. Okay, so the judge anything. found you guilty of the misdemeanor for going over the trespassing. For right, going over that, his of house. the misdemeanor trespass. Yes. Is that what happened in court? Yes. And then what were you sentenced to? That I had to do anger management. Okay. Do you two get back together after this? Um, yeah. We have a one-year-old. Yeah. So you have two children with him? Correct. OK, well, you clearly got together at least once. But I'm yeah. saying, did you go back together as a yeah. couple and become? Technically, I had nowhere to go. So I had to swallow my pride and go there. And um, we were on and off. And then he was still doing the same thing. So you have two thing. children with him, the six-year-old and a younger one? Yeah, a one-year-old son. A one-year-old son. Is that correct? All right. Now, have you ever heard him say you have to pay that bail? No. At the time when I went there, he was like, who's going to um, do all this? I'm like, well, you did this. You could have just said, listen, she came over, and this is what happened, and she's not trespassing. But you went, because she was there, you went and you followed her lead of whatever she wanted to say, and I felt like it was all lies. Like, I'm not that type of person. I've never gotten in trouble, and now I'm in handcuffs for trespassing, being emotional at four months pregnant at my boyfriend's okay, house. Okay, there's emotional at four months pregnant. I know, because I was there three times. And there's also having a steak knife in your hand when the police come in and having the police have to tell you to put it down. That's not his lies or new girl's lies. That's the police officer himself, who's a neutral and detached person, who says that you had a steak knife in your hand, that he saw it. Um, he didn't say you were w going like Freddy Krueger. He says you were standing standing there, you had the, the steak knife by your hand, he put his hand on his gun, and he said, put that put that down, and that you put it on the table. That's exactly how he says it went down. That's not the two of them saying lies. I mean, you got to take a little responsibility and, for why you I ended do. up losing for your being, job, you know? And I, I do for being emotional, but I do remember the steak knife was on the table. I do not remember, like, having it in my hand at all whatsoever. All right. That's why everything, when I right, read so, it, I'm like, what are these lies? So when does he tell you, I want you to pay the bond? No, not at all. I, I was in jail that Friday night, and the Monday I saw the judge. Then my friend actually came and picked me up um, when I got there from Were you jail. surprised? Did you know somebody yeah. was posting bond? No. It was just like I took a shower, a very humiliating shower. And they were like, oh, Solange, you're da-da-da. And I'm like, OK. And I'm confused. I go outside. You hadn't you, asked anybody to post a bond for you? No. Okay. I'm in jail at this time. I can't contact him, obviously. They didn't give you a phone call? <laughs> I, I got a phone call to my, my friend. but. Um, I couldn't contact him or speak to him because of the whole situation that had happened. And so when I went outside, she was there, and she was like, um, yeah, he posted it. And I was like, okay. And then the next day, I went to work because I had had a no call, no show. They saw everything on the news. And Oy. 
yeah, it was super embarrassing. And then I told him this was in November. So then by December, you know, I had my last paycheck. I paid rent. And then by January, he was like, you know, listen, I know I feel horrible about the situation. It could have went differently. And um, you could stay with me, you know, because at that time, I'm like now six months. And the only money I had left was, you know, I bought cribs and everything else. And um, then I stayed with him. And it was good for a little while off and on. Then like the same thing started happening. And after a while, when I got my taxes in like February, he was like, you're gonna put something on this bond. And I'm like, what are you talking about? Like you caused all this. Welcome back to the People's Court, Harvey Levin here. So she was really upset because he caught her with, she got him with another woman, um, but she did go after him with a knife. Any break the judge should cut here? Uh, I don't think so. Because? The obvious, I hope. <laughs> yeah, the obvious. You don't go after people with a knife. Right. <laughs> I'm sorry for answering your question. What do you say? <laughs> the same. Okay, you'll have what she's having. I got you. Going inside the courtroom. According to you, he's just bringing this up at this very late date because you filed for child support. Well, um, I wasn't aware at the time that December they um, sued him, but I, that's what I felt like because in September I went and um, got child support from the courts, and I thought, thought maybe that was the reason because right. it's been seven years. There, You have a couple of problems. Number one, the statute of limitations is run. All right, but number two, you would have to prove that she agreed to pay for the bond, not that she, you one day said, hey, you should put something towards this, but that you know, at the time that you posted the bond, there was an agreement that she would pay it, or that there's this subsequent contract between you two where you were giving up something of value, and an agreement she would, you know, and in return, she would pay the bond. You know, you've got a counterclaim against him for $4,340 for the cost of expunging your record. That's kind of funny. And the lost wages from December to January when you were uh, arrested for home invasion. And he should pay that. Why? Because I, I felt it was a lie. I didn't. It wasn't like a crazy home invasion. Like, I did that. Like, I came to your house because you invited me. Do you have a police report? And at the end of the day, yeah, he came to my house in the middle of the night at 12 o'clock at night. I was sleeping. He's in the kitchen. I'm like, what are you doing here? And he's like, oh, I thought you weren't home. I'm leaving these roses here. This is multiple times when I break up with him and I've never called the cops on him. I wouldn't lie just because someone was there and be like, oh, he illegally came to my house. Like, we always came to okay. each other's house. Listen up. You also are barred by the statute of limitations. Do you guys understand what the statute of limitations means? It means you can't come up a bunch of years later to complain about something that you never complained about before because we have a limit on it. Some limits are two, some limits are four, some limits are six. It depends on what the cause of action is, what the case is about. In this case, it's a debt and it's six years in your state. You're past the six years, both of you are, you know? But in no planet would anyone ever award you, even if you weren't past the six years, $4,000 because you got a criminal case when here's what the police report says. She was still armed with a knife. I looked at the accused who was standing in the living room. I observed she was holding a steak knife in her right hand. The knife was held along her right leg as if she was hiding it. I placed my hand on my service revolver and snapped the buttons as I ordered her to drop the knife. She placed the knife on the kitchen counter as she walked into the kitchen. I followed her into the kitchen. She said that she does not live there and had entered through a window after the victim, number one, which would be him, had not let her in, okay? This is why you had to pay for lawyers, lost your job, and had to get your record expunged. So on his claim against you, zero. And on your claim against him, zero also. Good luck, folks. So as you have heard, this is a case neither party could win because the statute of limitations had expired for both sides. You get it? Yeah, I get it. It's, I get it. I mean, it's unfortunate, but it you is, should have acted sooner. Yeah, it is, but I didn't have any knowledge of it. So when I got knowledge of it, then I was trying to resolve it, but it's too okay, late. Okay, all right. Sorry about that. Thank all you right. very much. You. All right, Solange, if you'll step out here. I mean, same issue for you. I know you filed a countersuit against him, but you couldn't prevail either. Yeah, that was just for fun, because he it's for fun, because <laughs> he filed against me. So, All right. um, yeah, cheating doesn't pay, and now I don't have to either. So, okay, good enough. Thank you very Thank much. You. Okay, you know, we never talk about this, but the reason for the statute of limitations is that you want to set a, a limit on when people are liable for stuff so they know how to get on with their lives. If they think they could be liable for something 30 years ago, how do you move on? And that's why they have the statute of limitations.